hey you guys welcome back to this vlog i hope y'all can see me child let's see let's see because i can't see myself oh there we go there we go child y'all i am in springfield illinois i came down here to take an interpreter test the state licensing uh, test and it's not a written test um, the first part of the test was a written test that I took way back when I was still in school because it doesn't I don't think you can take it and it just as long as you've passed it it doesn't matter when you come back and do the second part and so guys I am in Springfield Illinois to do like the interpreting portion of the test and um, so I'm not in my car because um, I rented a car. I was going to drive my own car. I was going to just bite the bullet and drive my own car so I wouldn't have to, um, like, pay for a rental. But then I decided it's probably best that I just get the rental because that's one less thing I have to stress about. I don't want to be, like, stressing about my car while I'm driving and then still have to take an exam when I get here. And then because if it broke down, it would cost me more. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to get a tow truck and things like that. So... But I'm here in Springfield, y'all. Ain't nothing to show, child. Springfield is where Abraham Lincoln grew up. If I had thought about it, I probably would have tried to get a tour. That This is where we came from my eighth grade um, trip to Springfield. <laughs> it was just a day trip. We came to see Abraham Lincoln's house, child. Because Springfield, Illinois is the capital of Illinois, y'all. Did y'all know that? That's where I am, and the building is back there. But I'm parked on this street. I'm not really parked parked. I'm gonna move over to the other side of the street, I think, cause the um, these meters look broke. Not gonna lie, and it's so interesting. So people's houses are on this street, and there are meters in front of their houses. So I'm curious. Oh, they have like a parking lot over there. I'm like, where do these people? I know they're not parking, like paying the park every day just to live out here. But this way I'm at to take this test. It's a performance. It's called the performance exam. So we actually have to sign. I actually have to like listen to listen to uh, something and sign it. And then I have to watch a deaf person and I have to voice what they're saying. Hmm. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's not a long test, but I feel like, so each section of the test, one, two, three, four. So there's four sections of the test and each section is only seven minutes long. And so I feel like we have to like be on it right away. Um, so when I took the exam, um, it was called, it was for, it was called the EIPA and it's for education. Like if you want to, um, just interpret in education, um, I think it's called educational interpreter. I don't know what it's called proficiency. I don't know what it's called, but the um, acronym is EIPA. And so now that test I felt like was long, especially as a new graduate so when you come first become uh an interpreter like interpreting is physical work you know and so when i first became an interpreter and then i had to take that test for that test it was one two three four it was four sections of that test different sections in this test that i'm taking today but four sections of that test and each section was like 15 minutes long or something like that. And I thought it was super long. I felt super exhausted at the end of it. <laughs> like, cause I think the voicing part was like 20 minutes or something like that. It was like ridiculously long. I thought at the time as a new interpreter. And so now fast forward to like, I would rather, I think, have a little bit of a longer test because you get time to kind of settle into the information that you're interpreting. Whereas seven minutes, I feel like you have to get to it like right away. Like you got to get be on top of it right away. So the tests are different and they're graded differently. And so this test I'm taking today, um, it has four parts to it. The first part, I can tell you this much about it. This is called the BEI. And most, uh, some states um, have it, it's required 
for certain jobs and that other states have no uh, licensing requirements. But the state of Illinois are very serious about their licensing requirements and I'm glad they take licensing seriously. I just wish there was like one standard test instead of having to take a test for this, you know, and like, but, but if I took this BEI first and passed it, I wouldn't have had to take the EIPA because it's a state license. It would have covered everything educational. However, the educational exam doesn't cover everything, not, you know, outside of those educational four walls. And so I'm here to take it. I am nervous about it. Um, there's one part I'm more nervous about than the other parts. So what I can tell you about this test is that each part is seven minutes long. Um, except the last part, you get 10 minutes, but because you have to prep for it. So you get like, three minutes of prep and then seven minutes to interpret it. And so the first part you have to interpret into ASL. So somebody's going to be talking about, and this is public knowledge, like um, it's like social service type things. It could be anything, anything covered by this license. So it could be a, a portion of a college class. It could be a social service um presentation about living in the shelter or it could be anything I don't know what it's going to be about and you don't know until you go in there and they start talking you don't know what it's about and so but anything social service related like um home ownership it could be car rental it could be anything right and then the second and so you have to interpret it into ASL and so ASL is a different word structure it's a different structure than english right so just to put it simply is that like you know how in spanish the who the what the why that's like at the end of the sentences it's kind of like that in asl too so then after i finish that portion i'm going to get another portion of the test and i have to transliterate it and that is english word order so whatever they're whatever saying Whatever they're saying out of their mouths, I have to come off my hands. And I know people probably thought that's what interpreting was anyway, and it's not necessarily that. Usually interpreting, my day-to-day -day interpreting, involves a mixture of both ASL and transliterating. And it can involve one or the other depending on what student I'm interpreting for. Um, and then the third portion of the test is where there's a deaf person signing and I have to voice what they're signing. And then the last portion of the test is called sight translation. And they give me like a flyer or some type of document um, with information on it that I would be um, interpreting into ASL for a person. Um, in school, the only type of sight translation I really do is um, like tests. Like sometimes students need um, their test questions um, interpret it but we'll see y'all so the only part part that I'm most the part that I'm most nervous about is the voicing part because a lot of our students at my school a lot of them speak for themselves so I don't really get a lot of like it's called receptive practice where they're signing to me and I have to voice what they're saying a lot of them will just talk themselves when talking to a teacher like I might have to interpret what the teacher is saying but then they can use their own voice and just talk back so you guys that's what's happening and um yeah I have about an hour I have an hour so I went to go rent a car so I decided to rent a car and so I reserved a car on the enterprise uh website I reserved the smallest car possible, just an economy car. That's all I need, right? I don't need nothing fancy. And wouldn't you believe an economy car was not available when I showed up? We not surprised though, right? So he was like, um, so I was supposed to pick it up at 9. Now Joy and her spidey senses know that it's not going to be as simple as me going, showing up, and walking out the door within like, five or ten minutes right because we know better we know how businesses are now like the people like especially when it's something you need they know you need something and not that they're trying to be malicious like the people working there but just the way business has seems like it has gone over time is that like you know um they don't really 
I don't know, like the people that working there are generally nice, but I was allowed to reserve a car that you didn't have, right? I was able to reserve a car that you didn't have. And so um, that's one thing. And so when I got there um, and I called ahead to see if I can like leave my car there because I didn't like I didn't want to have to bother my brother for a ride or a ride there or a ride back once I got back. And so they say, yes, you can leave your car there. So when I got there, so I wasn't supposed to pick my car up till nine. Well, Joy got there about 830 because I'm like, there's no way that um, it's just going to be ready. You know, but this is before I even knew they didn't have it. So when I get there, he was like, oh, let me see what we got. He's like looking outside. It was a real small enterprise. So like everything was just kind of parked. You could just look out the window and see what they had. And so he was like, oh, I don't have any like small economy cars, but I can give you a free upgrade if you're willing to take this truck, honey. Like, I don't need all this. Need all this. I don't need all this. It's like a pickup truck. Um, it's a Tacoma. I'm like, do I know how to drive that? Could I drive that? It seems quite big. I mean, I've driven an SUV before and it's fine. But I had to get used to it. I was like, oh my gosh. I had, I definitely had to get used to it. And so, anyhow, they gave me this truck. It has like one of those, it's fancy, y'all. It don't have, like, there's like not a key. You have to like press the button to start and stuff. I was like, I don't need to be stressed out about driving this vehicle. That's one thing I don't want. So even now, like I'm parked, like I've pulled in, but I feel like my, my tail is sticking out. So I think I'm going to pull across the street, actually, because I feel like it just looks better over there um, instead of, like, sitting in front of somebody's house. Because otherwise, I'm just in front of somebody's house. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I don't want to do that. And then these people sitting there on their porch across the street, <laughs> which is fine, but it's like, okay. It's interesting. It's, it's an li interesting little town. Like, there are some parts that look modern and some parts, most of it looks really old. Now, mind you, I only got off the expressway and, like, came a few miles down the road, but still. And I'm just procrastinating. I need to move across the street. Yeah. I'm going to move over there. But then this man, like, I don't understand why people do certain things. Like, you pulled up, but then you didn't just pull all the way up. You pulled, and there was, like, two spots in between. So that means somebody's going to have to, like, maneuver to, like, kind of get in between. And it was like, for what? Oh, maybe because he just went to the house right there. See him over there? I don't know. You can see him on the porch. Anyhow, those houses don't look like they got air conditioning. Because they got fans and stuff. Well, I'm kind of nervous. I wish I could just go in now. But they said don't come in um, more than 15 minutes before your test time. So anyway, I meant to say the car wasn't ready. So it was parked in the parking lot. So would you mind taking this to coma? I was like, okay. And then he was like, okay, well, let me go get it ready for you. If you know somebody coming to get a car, like, I don't understand that. Like, why isn't it ready already? If you know you got people, you know, coming to pick up cars that they've reserved, I don't understand, like, why they're not, like, ready. I don't know. It was just interesting to me. And so then he was like, so when I got there, I got there about 8.30. So he's like, well, I got cars coming in, like, that should be back, like, in a half hour or whatever which would be nine o'clock but then i would have to wait for you to like clean it which so it's not ready at nine o'clock you know what i'm saying things like that i just think it's interesting how business has changed like over the years like from the time like i was growing up like customer service was like really like an essential like priority you know it was just a super priority and now it just seems like and the people working there were very nice like nothing to them that but this is just how business is run and so they're just running business how businesses are being run you know but I mean that's neither here nor there I'm just nervous about this test. I feel like I get more nervous the more I like sit here but I don't know where anything is or like I don't want to go somewhere 
and like I'm like in the downtown area so everything is like a one way street and so I just feel like I ain't trying to I ain't trying to get lost or stuck somewhere and not make it back in time but y'all I'm about to watch something on YouTube I think um Thanks for coming with me to Springfield. I, don't, I really don't have nothing to show. It's nothing to show y'all. Like, I mean, this block that I'm on, it's like a neighborhood. So, like, people's homes are right here. And the building I'm supposed to go into is, like, back there. That brown building you see. I'm supposed to go in that building. And that's where my test is going to be. On the second floor. Oh, they have a whole parking lot over there. Hmm. That's interesting. But they told us to park out here at these meters. I had to legit bring quarters with me because I don't know how much meter. I've, the last time I paid a meter parking was in 2019. 20, was it 2018 or 2019 that I was here? Maybe 2019 that I was in Springfield. That was the last time I was in Springfield. And this test I've postponed like twice already. And I was gonna postpone it again. Not even postpone it. I was just gonna tell them, listen, I ain't coming. Just gift my money to somebody who needs to take a test. <laughs> I was not gonna come. And it's so interesting because for a while now, I've not done a lot of things outside of my comfort zone. It's, for me, this is outside of my comfort zone. Like just coming all the way down here, you know myself and taking a test and risk failure <laughs> I don't know I just haven't been in the mindset to be out of my comfort zone lately but here we are and this car costs so much like it didn't cost as much as if I was gonna get it the night before because at first I was gonna like get the car the night before so I would just have it already during the day but I just was like, oh, why spend that extra money? I can just get it in the morning. So I reserved an economy car, and it was like $54, or no, $57. And so with taxes and stuff, it was $62 or something like that. I think it was like $62. And so then, of course, when I get there, he was like, well, you pay the $62 plus there's a $300 hold fee, like a hold or something, like a deposit. So like when I return the car, they'll give me the, my deposit back, you know? And so um, I'm like, okay, I mean, thank God I had $300 because that, that doesn't say that anyway, like it might be on there, but like when you reserve it, it doesn't say that this requires a deposit. It doesn't say that. You would have to like go into the FAQs and like look to see like and click on all the things about, you know, all the things. So, which I don't like stuff like that. either. I don't like business like that either. I like things that are up front. And so, so a $300 deposit plus the $67 for the car because this was a free upgrade. And then $30 for um, like if somebody dings it or something like that and because i knew i was parking on a street like this i knew that ahead of time i knew i wasn't gonna be in a parking lot so like if somebody dings it or scratches it or something like that they just automatically take care of it it doesn't go through my insurance so i thought that was worth it just because um i am being you know parking on a busy street or whatever and it's people houses right here so yeah so it did cost me like so it was like after he rang everything up, it was like $391, <laughs> which the $300 I get back. But then like just for one day, for just a day trip, it was like $91. Now, it would have been more cost effective, obviously, if I kept it over several days. That $30 would have covered all the days. That $300 deposit would have been for all the days. You know, it would have been more economical, obviously, if I would have kept the car more days. But, but that's not what happened. And so... I'm not going to keep talking y'all ear off. This clip is already like 20 minutes long. And um, I still got a whole week to vlog for y'all. <laughs> but I'll come back after the test and kind of let you guys know how it went. Um, it took me about two and a half hours to get here. Um, I stopped at McDonald's on the way. 
So, um, yeah, I stopped at McDonald's on the way, got me some fries and a caramel frappe. And then I, when I got off the expressway, then I had another hour to drive. And so I stopped at McDonald's again just to go to the bathroom. And then, um, yeah, now it's like about 1.15. So, so, yeah, I'll check back in after the test and let you guys know how it went. Like, I can't tell you the content of the test, but I can definitely let you know if I thought it was difficult or easier than I thought or like what parts were difficult or whatever or what about it I thought was difficult so so I will just talk to y'all later hey y'all it is Wednesday morning on my way to work I'm just waiting for my coffee to get done so I didn't come back yesterday after that test because I wholeheartedly most certainly and definitely bomb that test <laughs> I knew it was downhill after a couple minutes in I'm like uh yeah I think I bombed it I think I spent a whole day for nothing <laughs> So I'm quite sure I'll be traveling back to Springfield next year. Probably, hopefully, maybe it'll probably be in the fall. I'm gonna give myself a year. And I don't even know, like, I don't know, like the um, content that I could have interpreted, to be interpreted, I don't think it was beyond my ability. I don't think it was beyond my ability. I just think I was in my head the whole time. I was nervous the whole time. I was overthinking the whole time. So, and I don't know how to like um, fix that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you practice not being nervous about something <laughs> or not overthinking something? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't have any tactics because I don't like live life generally speaking nervous about things like I don't encounter a whole lot of things that make me nervous so it's like so then when I am nervous it's like what do I do with this like I don't know what to do and I just overly I overthink that's what I do so unfortunately that's where I am and so the test cost I think it was like it was like $250 or $275 or whatever. So I don't, I won't get my test results until probably January, between January and March, I should get my test results, but I can't sign up for a new date until March. So um, in March, I'm going to sign up for a new test day. And then, um, cause you have to wait six months after the day that you take it. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, so March will be the next time I can sign up for it. And then hopefully I'll get a date within the year. But until then, I'm just going to practice, just build my confidence. I don't know, like, I don't know. I didn't go in feeling unconfident, so I don't know. Like, I didn't feel unconfident when I was, like, going there or anything, or I didn't think that I didn't have any confidence. There was only really one part that I was concerned about, but that, like, that part I did as I expected to do. Like I didn't expect to do well on that part or as well as I wish I could have done. So that part I can improve on, like I know I can. And I, I feel like I was less nervous about that part. I was less nervous about it because I know, I think, I feel like my skill isn't as up to par anyway. So I don't know, I was like less nervous about it. But the part that I felt like I could do, I was just super nervous about like, Y'all, like, hmm, I don't know. Like, maybe there's some books or something about it. <laughs> about being nervous, y'all. I don't know. Hmm. So, that's where I am. So, I'm going to go back to work today. Back to life as usual. <laughs> but it was an easy drive down there. It was easy to get there, easy to get back. There was no traffic or anything because I was, like, far south of Chicago so there was just absolutely no traffic just a little bit of construction but nothing that like held me up or anything but you guys very disappointed in myself mm, but that's okay that's okay it's a learning experience and I just have to improve next time 
it's just for improvement, you know? So that's where I am. So that is not a license that'll be added to my repertoire at this time. That will earn me more money. <laughs> But I'm going to keep working at it. So I'm about to head out to work. I'm about to pour my coffee. Head out to work. We start the morning with meetings today. It's Wednesday. So we start with meetings. I'm sure my colleagues will ask me how it went. Because I don't mind telling people I'm doing something. And I don't mind admitting failure. I don't mind that at all. Because I think a lot of... I feel like too many people don't admit it. And then... And then people feel like that they're in, in it alone or that they are the only ones that feel like that. And I don't like people to feel, I don't like feeling like that and I don't like other people to feel like that. So I don't mind admitting defeat. <laughs> I was defeated. <laughs> and I don't mind admitting that. So, but yeah, I'm about to head out to work. I'll probably check in with you guys like normal on Wednesday in the afternoon, like after work. We have a meeting with the kids after school. Um, but... It shouldn't take the whole time. And I'm working volleyball this evening instead of band. One of my colleagues is doing band for me. Um, and then I'm going to work volleyball today. So that should be fun. Something to get my mind off the test, child. I definitely ate my feelings in french fries yesterday. <laughs> but I got to go, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Friday. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I talked to you guys and I don't say that all the time. The weeks have been full and furious. I think I have some clips in there about, um, so Wednesday night I didn't go to band, but I think I put some clips in there, like just some of the props we're using because we know our, um, what you call it is tomorrow. Our competition is tomorrow. But tonight, it is after work. I have, um, the band will be performing at the football game, but they're not going to do the show that they did at the, that they're doing for the competition tomorrow. They're just going to play on the track, and then in the stands, they're going to play, and then they're going to, um, like, do, like, a preview, like, a snippet of the show for the audience, so they're going to, like, play part of their show. Like, just a little part where it's, like, super exciting. <laughs> so that should be fun, so... It is 316. I think I have um I have to be here at 5:45. So had I known I was gonna have all this time free, I was not supposed to have this time free. One of my coworkers, she has to interpret for a kid on the football team. I have to interpret for a kid in the band, and she said we were gonna go get something to eat, and she is no longer available. So had I known I was going to have all this time free, I would have had my stuff prepared to interpret, not for to interpret, to make a video for Sunday. I would have made my Sunday video now. So I don't think I'm going to have a Saturday video this week, but I do plan on having a Sunday video. And so now I have to, I just have to finish the notes for it. But you guys, now I don't have anything planned for this time. I have a cake to eat, a nothing but cake. Um, our softball and basketball teams sell these, I think, once a month for a fundraiser. And so I always get one for sure. Um, so I can eat that, I guess. I'm going to have to eat this for dinner because we were supposed to go get food. So I don't really have anything planned. I'm going to just go walk around and kind of see what's going on because I do have stuff to do, but it's work related and I'm off work. And I don't want to do work-related stuff. So I'll probably just watch me a video, work on my notes for Sunday and stuff like that. But um, I did get paid. I don't know if I mentioned that. I just got paid um, for the uh, 15th. Today is the 13th, but the 15th, I think, is on a Sunday. So we got paid early. Um, we get paid, like, before the before the weekend day. So if our um, the 15th falls on a weekend, we get paid early. So, um... So yeah, I gotta plug in my phone, but but yeah. So that's just what today is. So I'm not gonna get any footage tonight because they're just playing like parade tunes. They're not really playing the show tunes today. So, but tomorrow for the competition, I'm definitely gonna try to get something. Um, I'm gonna try to get something because it's such a great show. So we'll see. 
<sighs> so, so yeah, I'm gonna watch a video, work on my notes and things like that. I did get paid. I'm going to, um, I don't have anything huge. I just paid my bills, just my normal bills. And September is not a month that I was going to be able to make an extra car payment or anything just because I had to rent that car to go down to Springfield and take that test that I failed. Did I tell y'all I failed it? <laughs> I don't even know. I did not get an official score. I just feel like I failed it. I feel like I did not pass. It doesn't mean I'm a good, not, not a good interpreter. It just means that on that day... I did not meet <laughs> what they were asking for. So we'll see. Again, I don't get my, I probably won't get my um, results until January, I think at the earliest. And so, um, so yeah, so this month I'm not going to be able to make an extra car payment because on the 20th, is that just next weekend? Oh my gosh, I haven't ran or anything. So next weekend I'll be gone to um, Wisconsin because I have that Ragnar race. And I'm going to be riding with somebody, but I'm going to like help pay gas and help pay parking and stuff like that. And I don't know what else I need to buy. I just need, I definitely need to have a cooler so I can have food for myself. So he gave us a list of things that we need to pack. So I need to go over that list, see what I have, um, see what I need. My friend, she's a camper, so I can probably borrow a sleeping bag from her. I'm not going to buy anything I don't have to buy. Um, I kind of wish I backed out of it, to be honest. I kind of wish I backed out of it because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go. I'll be off work for two days, the 19th and the 20th. So I think we're going to travel on the 19th, which is Thursday. And then the race starts on Friday. It starts on Friday. And I think we'll stay there Friday night and like so we camp Thursday night and then we run all day Friday and then I think we camp Friday night and then we leave on Saturday we leave Saturday morning I believe so that's what it's gonna be that's what it's gonna be I, I'm just now looking forward to getting it over with I I just wanted to get it over with so September is not a good financial month for me just because I am making extra money, but it's not like, but I have to pay for other things. You know what I'm saying? So October should be good. And then October 19th will be my last day that I'm making like extracurricular money for interpreting the rest of the year. Like the rest of the semester will be um, all like volleyball, basketball, you know, things. But I don't even get that ch those checks until the end of the season. So like volleyball, I'll get a check for volleyball. Um, and it's not a lot. We only have a few home games. And one of them I can't do, um, which is next Thursday because I'll be in Wisconsin. So it's just a lot of things. Um, and then like the basketball, we don't get paid for basketball. I'm not even signed up for basketball yet. Hopefully I'll get some basketball days. But we don't even get that until probably March or April or something like that, depending on how far our, our basketball team goes. Hopefully um, this year, supposedly we're supposed to have a really good team. We got a really good um, basketball player. He is the top five in the nation or something like that. He's one of our basketball players. And so, um, so he just transferred here last year, but after basketball season, so he'll be able to play this year. So we'll see how that goes. So hopefully I'll get to pick up a lot of those games. I'm sure I'll be able to pick up the girls' basketball games. But the boys' basketball games, hopefully I'll get to pick up a lot of that too. And then um, we'll see. So I don't think, to be honest, I don't think I'll get to pay my car off this year. It's $10,000. Matter of fact, let me see what it says. Because I just made a payment and I'm sure only pennies went towards the principal. I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. So I owed $10,477, and then I made my first payment a couple days ago. So let's see. So it was $10,477. My balance now is $10,313. So a little bit of it went toward the, let me see if I can find a breakdown. Um, transactions, 
let me see. So $190 went towards finance charges. And then the rest of it went towards the principal. And so I owe $10,313. But if you think about it, if I can quickly make a $313 payment, I will be out of five figures, you guys. It'll be like 9,000 something. Can you believe it? I can. So anyhow, I'm just giving you guys an update. I don't know if I'll get any footage tonight from anything. Cause the, like I said, the band is not performing on the field tonight. They're just gonna be performing in the stands and on the track during halftime. Um, so I don't know that it, it's anything exciting to, um, you know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see though. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. But anyhow, I will check in with you guys tomorrow for sure um, during the competition. But yeah, I just feel like I'm so busy this semester. So busy. So busy. Like I don't, I don't feel like I have time to do anything except come to work and work. So today, and I enjoy my work. That is such a good place to be. I'm thankful that I'm being worn out at a job that I enjoy. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so because not only am I interpreting during the day, I'm helping out with our PBIS, which is our positive behavior intervention supports. That's what it is, supports, interventions, and supports, I believe. So, um, so today we did student of the month. Um, the staff votes for student of the month. So we had like a little um not uh not like a big celebration or anything like that but um the staff voted on student of the month so we have we told all the kids like we met with the kids like 15 minutes we met with them let them know who all was nominated for student of the month and then we told them the winner and i love that the kids get excited for each other and um and they know that they're being talked about i want them to know that their names are on the table that their names are in the room of people who can you know, that we're talking about them in good ways, you know, and I think it's important for the kids to know that. And so we did that today. And then all of the kids got a nothing but cake today. And um, the staff, like I gathered like a bunch of the com compliments or comments, positive comments that the staff has said about them. And each one got that on their cake. Um, so yesterday I sent out a Google form to find out what their favorite cake flavor was and um, they all responded and well all of them didn't respond so some of them I just had to take a guess um, but they all got a cake and on the top was their name uh, with a positive comment from a staff member and so they got to take that home with them and then the student of the month he got a certificate and so all their pictures are on the wall over there. I can't really show you because I don't want you to see their faces, but I can kind of like see that's a wall over there. And so throughout the school year, we're going to um, we're going to add. So I just I'm making a student poster for the young man who, who's student of the month. So it's going to be some information about him, and we're going to put it on that wall. So the goal is that by the end of the school year they will have, the wall will be full of their accomplishments and accolades throughout the year. So, so I'm on that committee that's doing that. And so we are constantly looking for ways to, um, to like um, find the good that they're doing and encourage them in those ways so that they, so that we see more good behaviors rather than bad behaviors and we don't have a lot of kids with bad behaviors or anything like that at all but it's like we want them to like buy into their own education and things like that we want them to know that it's not just up to staff as to whether they succeed in school but it's up to them as well and they can have a hand in that so that's what we're doing so I do a lot of that during the day um and then by the time I get home like I feel like I just pour out so much at work that by the time I get home that I'm like okay I'm chilling but for real I'm still catching up on sister wives so and I don't care if y'all don't like that <laughs> catching up on sister wives because the new season starts Sunday so we shall see. So I did, I had an Amazon student. I don't know how, but I had an Amazon Prime student 
something. So like if I want to watch something specifically, I'll sign up for Amazon Prime and then I cancel it right away so that I'm only getting charged for one month. Because right now, so I've gotten my Canva subscription back. I'm not quite sure if I want to keep the Amazon Prime video. So I just um, signed up for it and then just cancel it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. That's how I'm able to watch Sister Wives now. So Anyway, y'all, I'm just talking y'all ear off. I'm going to eat my cake, watch my sister wives, drink my water, and just be ready for band to be there at 545. So I will check in with y'all later. And I got cash. And you're doing this first. Okay. Hey, you guys. It is Saturday. Yes, I'm at the school. <laughs> we have a band competition today. Um, our call time today was 10.15, so we got here at 10.15 today, um, which is nice because last night I didn't get home from the football game until I got home at 11. <laughs> yeah, so the band stays through the entire um, varsity game. They play throughout, so I... Um, so yes, yeah, so I got home at 11. So thankfully, we didn't have to be here until 10.15 today. So when we got here today, this morning, we practiced. Um, they like ran through a few spots, did some drills, all the things. And then um, they did all of that. And then and now we're having lunch. So then they had like a drill rehearsal. They had a drill rehearsal. Then they had a music rehearsal you know just hitting certain spots in the music and things like that i mean the practice is done y'all it's time to it's show time it's show time so now um they just fed us lunch we had pot belly sandwiches i'm glad they included me because i didn't bring a drink a lunch a water i didn't bring nothing i got me a little bitty coffee from mcdonald's that i'm about to warm up yeah y'all know me Y'all know this ain't enough coffee. I don't even know why I only bought a little one. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, what was I even? I was barely awake this morning. But um, it's about 12.50 now. Um, we got to go back into the band room at 1.05. And I think at 1.15, they're going to start loading the trucks, the trailers and things, like with all the uniforms. The props, I think, are on the truck already. Yes, props. Now, my high school wasn't this fancy because we didn't have all this stuff. <laughs> We didn't have all this stuff. We just went to a band competition. I don't think we had any props. I don't think we had any of that. We just had our uniforms and, you know, we went and performed or whatever. The only marching band competition I can remember um, being at is, I feel like it was, um, we were indoors due to rain. So I feel like we performed in a gym or something. That's the only one I remember. I'm sure we did more than that, but this is... Um, this school <laughs> they do everything because I guess they get um points for difficulty like how many elements they have in the show like I guess with the dance and stuff now mind you I've been working here and I've seen the the actually I don't think I've ever seen a real halftime show of the band because if I'm at a football game it was because I was interpreting for a student on the football team and during halftime we're not out there you know, they're like the coaches are like talking to the kids. So I don't think I ever saw a halftime show here. So I had no idea they had all this. Like they have a like a dance instructor. They have a instructor for the brass section. They have an instructor for the woodwind section. They have an instructor for the pit, which is like the marimba, like the um, all that set up in the front. And then they have an instructor for the drum, the drum line. All of these are like they have all the, like they have an entourage. They have a production, and it's exciting because I never knew like high school band. Like I didn't, I don't, I don't know what I thought it was. Like I knew they were going to perform on the marching band field, but I mean on the football field, but I didn't realize there was a lot to it. You know, I knew they had a lot of awards and stuff, but I, I guess I really didn't just know no, and so um, and so. Um, so like, and people think, and I think I might've thought this too, a little bit, but like people think that like the band like does all this practicing so they can perform at the football team. They don't care about the football team. They like, if they perform at a football game, that's practice. 
that's practice. We're working on things for the competition. That's why they perform at the football game, so they can be in front of an audience, their friends are there, their families are there, and things like that. That's the only reason they perform at the football game, like the halftime show. But um, but they really, their uh, main goal is competitions. And so, um, so yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get going. Um, I think the bus is set to pull off at 2.15. So that's what we're going to do. And I just bought my little backpack today. Something that I can carry around with me. So I don't have my I don't have my laptop with me. I just have my phone today. Just stuff I need. My wallet, glasses, in case I need to take my contacts out. I have a book to read. I bought this book, you guys. YouTube Secrets by Sean Cannell. And it's the second edition, updated second edition. So I bought it to like read on the bus. I don't think we're gonna be that far. We're not that far from the school we're performing at. But um, but yeah, it's exciting to, for my first competition, my students' first competition. Um, and so yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun to like um, just kind of see what how it goes. Cause next Saturday. My team, my partner, he is going to do the uh, competition next Saturday because I'll be running that Ragnar race. If I could get out of that, y'all, I haven't ran probably since the last time I told you I ran, which I'm sure was like a couple months ago. Yeah, September, I knew September was going to be like off. I knew that with money and everything. So like my money went towards going to Springfield. It's gonna to go towards the weekend. So I can't really do any extra, like spend any extra money because I don't know what I'm gonna to need to spend out there. It shouldn't be too much. I'm carpooling, so gas and help pay for parking. That shouldn't be too much. And then I'm gonna just bring food with me. I'll bring some bread, some peanut butter and jelly, some snacks. Yeah, like I cannot wait to just get home and be done with that. And then I can just live out the rest of the year normal, like a normal person or like on my time. Like if I feel like doing something spur of the moment, then I can, but I don't really want to, I don't, I'm not really planning anything else for the rest of this year, but I'm going to try to get you guys some, I'm going to try to record the show parts of it i think you guys have seen the beginning i think i've recorded the beginning but not like the second movie i hear them playing they starting to move instruments so let me go out here you guys so i'll probably pick you guys back up again at the competition and we'll go from there so hopefully it's a fun day i hope it doesn't feel as long as it is because we don't it's about we're gonna leave here at 2 15 i don't think we perform until five and the other interpreter he said he was gonna try to meet us there so hopefully he can come out and just meet me there tell somebody to talk to and then like i'll have to interpret like the award ceremony like if the judges are talking to them they like it's interesting they say like judges are going to be out on the field like walking around like making comments into like a little voice recorder and stuff like that or he, they're going to have like their recording be like okay I'm standing in front of the trumpets here's here's their sound so that they can go back and like judge it or whatever I was like just top tier I don't know that I've ever been involved in nothing like this high you know I don't even know I don't even have a word <laughs> all right y'all but I'm about to go I'll see you guys later <laughs>
we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, let's go. I think I'm late. I don't even know what time. I don't. I have no idea what time it is. Zero. Let's see. It is 9.17. Oh, I'll be late. <laughs> I'm going to be late. Hold on. Let me attach y'all. All right. I think y'all are connected. Hopefully, you guys stay on, on this angle. I've been having so many problems with these car mounts. It's hard to, like, keep the right angle because I feel like... I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> we got back to the school last night at about maybe about eight something it was probably like eight something and then the kids had to like unload the um they had to unload the trucks or the trailers with all the um you know equipment and instruments and uniforms and all that they had to unload and put everything away that didn't take a long time because everybody helped and then um what else and so we stayed because the director was hoping that he would get the scores in. Now, while we were there, um, they did awards right away. Um, there was three class divisions. It was 1A, 2A, and 3A. We were in 1A. And um, we won first place overall 1A. Our percussion section, which are, is our drums and our pit, like the marimba and all that, they won first place or best percussion. And then our guard, our color guard, they won best auxiliary. And that's what color guard is called, auxiliary. So we came away with some awards, honey. And then, um, but the overall competition, like all together, 1A, 2A, 3A, there was another school that won the overall but we were trying to find out where we were in the um where we were in the overall scores so that's what the director was waiting for like <laughs> were we second to that overall team you know overall band the overall winner of that band or like where we're trying to figure out where we fall in the rankings because we're gonna compete against these bands again um so we're trying to figure out where we fall in the rankings so we don't know that yet because um, he wasn't able, the scores weren't uploaded or whatever, and also the judges' comments. So out on the field, the judges are down there with like little recorders, like talking into them and walking around and all that. So we'll get all those comments, so we won't know anything. I don't know, he said he was going to post it, like once he got it, he was going to post it for the kids on their Google Classroom, but I'm not in that, so I, would, I won't know until like Monday, like when he starts talking to the kids about it. So that's that and i'm getting ready to head to dunkin donuts i definitely need some coffee with some sugar this morning and perhaps a donut because i ain't playing with them today i ain't playing with them matter of fact i probably just will let them do whatever <laughs> like, ah. so so yeah so that's what today is so I am going to end this video today because um, I got to start my next video for next my next vlog. I did not get to record today because I, I just needed a day that I could sleep in. Like, I just needed to sleep in a little bit. So, and I hadn't finished my notes. Or at least I know the direction I want to go with that video, but I don't, I didn't finish it. Like, it needs to come to a conclusion of some sort, and I didn't do that. So, um so yeah so i'll probably record sometime this week because this weekend um <laughs> i'll be going to uh wisconsin to that ragnar race so i'll probably run a couple miles tonight <clears throat> just to wake my legs up like hey you're gonna be running i have not run i'm sure of it since the last time i told y'all i ran i'm sure of it it's been a couple months so hopefully it'll be fun i just want to get it over with to be honest i'm not looking forward to it i, I wish there was a way i could get out of it i don't even care about the money i spent because the money i spent was last year i paid in like december and january or whatever before i even started this total money makeover so i don't even care about that if somebody wanted to just jump in and take my place i would not be opposed i'm like go for it but i'm gonna just fulfill my obligation 
even though I don't want to, but but then I'll have the rest of the year to just kind of chill and do what I need to do, get my finances in order. <laughs> Because I feel like I haven't been able to focus on anything but work this semester so far. It's just been a lot. And it's fine. Like, I don't I, I don't mind the workload. I just wasn't expecting it. Like, I wasn't expecting to not have the time and the energy to do um, the things that I've been wanting to do. You know, the things that I've been wanting to focus on. So, but anyhow, I'm going to let y'all go. And I'm going to see y'all later. I will catch y'all in the next vlog, honey, or whatever video come out, y'all.